Now it's time for more of Southern California's sports fishing voice. Let's talk hook up. Get ready for more of the best fishing information and the hottest tips on improving your angling skills. Let's Talk Hook Up is sponsored in part by Yamaha Outboards. Reliability starts here. Ford, the official truck of Let's Talk Hook Up. Shimano Rods and Reels. Fish with the best. Shimano. And by Rancho Leonero, where your wildest Baja dreams come true. And now, Southern California's sports fishing voice, the hosts of Let's Talk Hook Up, Pete Gray, Rock Cod, Rick Maxa, and Corey Sandin. Welcome back. Hour number two, Let's Talk Hook Up, right here on the Let's Talk Hook Up app and network. Pete Gray here with Corey Sandin, Captain Mark Wish, Santa Claus Mark Wish from Pacific Edge. And this is our annual Christmas Spectacular show where we uh, get your best contributions to the radio show and we give away seven amazing prize packages. Right, Corey? Man, like crazy. I mean, yeah. you want me to go through it? Yeah. It's a, a Shimano Torium 20 HG Reel Matching uh, Therese Rod, $500 plus. Athco uh, Proteus Lightweight Waterproof Bibs and Matching Jacket, 450 plus. Yeah. Shimano Trinks, 400 $400 plus. Pacific Edge Package, including Mark's uh, three books and a $50 gift card. pair of Maui Gym Sunglasses, the World Cup with a Maui HT lens and uh, Maui... Uh, the, the Maui frame, $250 plus. Fisherman's Landing package, including a full-day trip with Taro on the Liberty and a hand-picked uh, tackle package from Rick down at the tackle shop. Uh, Anza Fish Pro Series Filet Knife. I want that one. Out of yeah, that Fish Pro. Yeah, yeah. that's a good one. It's a, I mean, those things, they, I mean, once you start using those, Pete, that's they're amazing. one heck of a list. It's like three grand worth of stuff. Right? But yeah, and we have some great contributions already, but still plenty of time. One line open. It's been impossible to get through, but now is your chance. It is. 833-288-0973. 833-288-0973 is our number here. And Adam is standing by, ready to take your call. And in the meantime, let's find out what's biting out there. Let's do it. And uh, the Caps Report is sponsored by Gamakatsu. Two years ago, they set out to develop a hook light enough for live bait to swim naturally, yet strong enough to handle your next trophy bluefin or yellowfin. The answer, the Gamakatsu Nautilus HD Heavy Duty. The new Gamakatsu Nautilus HD is available with solid ring or standard hook. Get it now at the selected tackle shops and ready. get ready to get big. Get ready to get big. And Captain Mark Wish is right here with a with a quickie fish report here. Yeah, right? it's going to be a quickie fish, fish report. Com report. Yeah, because there's not a whole heck of a lot going on. Yeah. You know, but I think... I think it's actually like right now the first day of winter is happening. It's like eight o'clock. I like what eight, you're saying. Eight, right yeah. now, today, today is the first like, day of winter. Like Which right now, shortest yeah. day of the year. That's shortest what day. I was just going to say. Solstice. But the beauty of that is that after today, it's damn near summertime again. Because the days <laughs> get longer. Yeah. Yes. And yeah. So you, you can just feel the change. I mean, you I can like just feel it. the vitality start yes, picking up I after like today. That. Yeah. yeah. But That's you know, take. I'm gonna give you a couple stars. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> yeah, but it. I mean, it is winter and it's off season. And we've had some weather and we got a whole bunch of weather coming. So if you guys have an inclination to go, probably like right now is the time to go because yeah. it's going to be going downhill by tomorrow afternoon substantially. And most of this next week is going to be like a little stormy. So yeah. you know, it's, it's interesting though. Not a lot of wind on it. Not not that much good. wind. Yeah. yeah, this is more of a. Of a like atmospheric river type thing we got yeah. coming, so typically those got a little less wind and Just maybe a little more rain, you know, depending. They're still trying to figure out the forecast, but they're definitely predicting some. But you know, in terms of what's been going on, not not a whole heck of a lot. You know, there's yeah. definitely some squid around. I mean, there's squid at Clemente. There's uh, several spots of squid over at Catalina. I have not had any Catalina reports. Some guys looking around for yells or or sea bass, you know. Or, Typical wintertime stuff, but it started biting last year about just about the same time. So we got a break in the weather. It's going to be interesting to go check it out. You know, the offshore tuna thing, I mean, pretty much looks over for now. The uh, big news is certainly that deep drop swordfish scenario. Still happening. They're biting. <laughs> They're yeah. still biting. Yeah, it's just crazy. Congratulations to the guys that got them over the last couple of days here. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's uh, it's getting to be Christmas. It's definitely winter, and... You know, yeah. it's just that but, time of year. You know, fishdope.com, what a great last-minute gift Christmas Absolutely. sale. One-year membership to fishdope.com. <clears throat> Use the code HOOKUPNOW or lowercase, no space. HOOKUPNOW is $20 code. 
and uh, that is a that that's a great Christmas gift or a, a, a gift that you need to have year round. And while we're on the subject of fish dope, I want to throw out a big get well soon to Jason. Jason's oh, going boy. through some tough stuff here, and yeah. uh, Jason, you take uh, from care, fish buddy. Dope get better. And BD Outdoors, man. We need you back, Jason. So. Get well really quickly, for sure. Yeah, definitely. And the All catch right. report today is sponsored well, by... Well, wait a minute. We wait, 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 wait a minute. What about Marcos from C4 oh, Sport good Fishing? Morning, Marcos. Maybe he's got a poem or a song or something, Marcos. I almost, cut, I almost cut him out. Yeah, what's yeah, that? Yeah, about? Can you, can you uh, imagine I that? I mean... I was nothing but nice last week telling everyone how everything was caught on MC Swimbaits, and you tried to just <laughs> look, cut me out see, completely. <laughs> what, what, look at that, huh? What's that all no, about? No good deed on punters. I mean, what the heck? <laughs> I, I, I think I almost heard a buzzer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, no poems for you today, but some decent fishing here. Like you just heard there, I mean, some weather rolling through over this last week here. New Sea Forest on their half. They did have some yellowtail on one of the morning trips there. They're seeing a little bit here and there, otherwise some good fishing, and as we know, that uh, bottom fishing is going to come to a close here locally soon, beginning of next month there. But we will be running some three-quarter day trips, 7.30 to 3, on the new Seaforth Fishing Mexican Waters. They're going out there looking for rockfish and rock cod. You know, a passport required trip. But if you don't want to do the half day, go looking for the bass and the like, and you just want to get some bottom fish in there, we're going to have those options. We're going to have those half days running come up here. So wish I had a little bit more to tell you over this last week here, but with all that weather blowing through here, some weather coming up, I think we know how it's been. It's been a spectacular year, a little slow down here at the end, but I'm sure it'll pick right back up. You guys will get back out there fishing. Oh, yeah. Definitely take a look at the website, seaforthlanding.com. We have those half days, those three-quarter days. At some point in the San Diego, after doing some much-needed boat work, man, those guys had a long season, and they're spiffing up the boat now, and they'll get back up there running. Got some uh, whale watching trips. Got a new whale watching boat, so definitely come check that out. If you got some family in town or you just want to get out there on the water for a little bit but not spend the whole day fishing, go out there, see some whales, check the website. Everything's up there. Give us a call at the office, 619-224-3383. And if you want to get a gift card for someone, you know, maybe don't know what to get them, but you know they love fishing, you can definitely do that also. You can come down and get them in person. I'm guessing at this point it's probably a little too late to send them out, but definitely an option there. So come on by, yeah. Some person. Ta- yeah. Is it good for tackle as well as uh, as fishing trips? Absolutely. I mean, you can go to the tackle shop and spend it all on MC Swim Baits. I mean, it's... it's yeah. <laughs> And while you're down here, head over to the new restaurant there and petition for that Rock Out Rick Breakfast Rito back on the menu. Hey, Marcos, I have heard nothing. I have not been there yet, but the Royal Rooster, which is the new restaurant right there at C4 Sport Fishing, I hear nothing but great things about those two guys. I guess one of the chefs from the Red Rooster 3 and one of the chefs from the Royal Polaris combine their talents, and they're just putting it out there, I understand, huh? They've done a great job over there. It's very Mexican-themed food there, there which, you know, for us is great because we eat Mexican food just about every day yeah. anyway here. But they, they're great food. He does a good job over there. He does a good job going with what's in season there. So a little change up to the menu occasionally, so definitely worth visiting multiple times. And I I definitely recommend it. It's great food over there. I'll have to go check it out for sure. Yeah. All right. Absolutely. Well, hey, Merry Christmas to you, Marcos. Thanks for all the great reports you give us. And uh, one more this year to give us uh, next Saturday, uh, the end of the year uh, broadcast here, and uh, then start a whole new year. And then start a whole new decade. A whole yeah. new decade of fishing. That's right. and there whole we go. Wow. That's right. Very good, Marcos. Appreciate everything you do for us, and we'll talk to you next Saturday. We'll talk to you then, guys. Merry Christmas. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Good stuff. And the Catch Report is sponsored by the Fish Pros at Fishman's Processing in San Diego. Looking for the perfect last-minute Christmas gift? Fishman's Processing has the answer. Gift certificates for fish processing or an assortment of their great spices and rubs, which are awesome. Uh, smoked fish, smoked cheese, or how about a Fish Pro Series and a knife? They have holiday special packages now at their convenient Liberty Station location. We'll order online at fishmansprocessing.com. He's got a special package for Christmas, like buy three rubs at a special price. It's a perfect Christmas That's gift. That's pretty cool, and yeah. they're awesome. Go over they, there, Liberty Station. They're open. They it's craft cool. them all in-house yep. right there. Yeah. It's really neat. They, they, yeah, they're really well done, for sure. All right, phones are packed. They want to contribute to this Christmas they spectacular. Do. So let's jump into it. And Gus wants his opportunity. Gus from Burbank, welcome to the spectacular. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> How was that? Oh, that was good, Gus. Awesome. That was good. <laughs> that, that's it. That's, that's, it. that's, all, that's, that's all. Perfect. Yeah. That's all we get. That's all you're getting today. 
All right, <laughs> Gus. Good stuff, Gus. Nice job. Merry Christmas to you, Gus. Thanks very much for the call. Appreciate yeah, that. Yeah, I like it. Short and sweet. That's, oh, yeah. You know, that's, he still there's got merit his... to that. That yeah, was good. Yeah, no, absolutely. Good. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's see if Mark, Mark and Santee, let's see if he can be just as fast. Good morning, right. Mark. Good morning, Mark. Hey, good morning. I'm not just as fast, but um, i got a story to tell. Uh, it's about grit, tenacity, and just, you know, about fishing. Um, when I was younger, a buddy of mine <clears throat> and me went down to, back home in Rhode Island, went down to Galilee to go fishing on a deep sea fishing boat. And uh, we would, you know, we got there early. We got there like 2.30 because we were in the morning because we were drinking all night. And we started drinking on the pier, and we put our tackle and, you know, stuff on the boat and just kept drinking. Well, we fell asleep, and no one woke us up when the boat left. So we woke up, and the boat was gone with our tackle and everything on it. So um, my buddy, he, he's, he's a fisherman from way back, and he said, well, let's just, you know, instead of going home or something, let's, let's just fish. So we went in his van and got some spoons that he had in there, and went core hogging and for uh, uh, core hogs and little necks. Oh, oh there, the first, there it is. Mark, there I think, it is. I, I think Mark missed the boat. Uh, yeah, he was running a little long there. It was a little, a little missed the boat. He need me. Yeah, uh, more ways than a little, one. A little long there. A little, uh, a little, a little too, too much story. I hey, guess, Mark. I think. But we, thank you for the effort. I think we just had to hear the buzzer. Yeah, that's wait, absolutely. You were the victim. Classic. Yeah. All right. Merry Christmas to you, Mark. Let's yeah, go and jump back in. No hard feelings, Mark. Yeah. Let's go to Greg. Greg in San Clemente. Welcome to the show this morning, Greg. Good morning, gentlemen. How are you? Great. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Merry Christmas to you guys also. I'm going to make a fool of myself on the radio once again Perfect. by singing a song. Love it. Um, you know marlin and sheephead and sea bass and tuna, roosters and ling cod caught on the okuma, but do you recall the best fish to catch overall? Goldfish, the ultimate badass, pull extremely hard when bit, they'll bite right through your main line, it will almost make you bleep. <laughs> then one cloudy Saturday, fishing in a lake, Goldie took my bait so strong, broke my rod, it was so wrong. That's how the story closes, believe it or not, it's cool, Goldfish will kick your booty, don't ever play them for a fool. Merry Christmas. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Very nice. well done. That's cute. Yeah, Thanks nice, a lot. Merry Christmas to you. That, nice that jingle. Cute. Yeah, 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 nice jingle. put some effort into that. Absolutely. For sure. And no I think doubt. the goldfish you might be referring to are Garibaldi, maybe. Oh, maybe. Maybe, Do yeah. they pull hard? I've never hooked one. <laughs> well, I've hooked them opali fishing. And opali. they do. Yeah, they do. They, they do pull right. very hard. Okay. Yeah. Good. Let's All go right. with it. All right. Okay, Bob. Bob and Lakeside, welcome to the Christmas Spectacular, Bob. Good morning, Bob. Hey, good morning, guys. Uh, FedEx driver here, hard at work. Four more days of pandemonium before one day off. All right. I got a little poem for you that I scribbled up there while I was at my workstation, so just give me a minute. In the twilight of this year that's been filled with joy and cheer, many big fish to be had, some heartbreaks oh so sad. Bluefin on our minds with many yellowfin on the lines, on the water with good friends, and we hope it never ends. Hope next year is great. With good friends, we celebrate. Merry Christmas to all my Let's Talk Hookup friends. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Nice job, Bob. Good all job. Right. I appreciate that. Hey, and uh, thanks for your efforts, too, working for FedEx. There. That's a tough job. Oh, right. man. Those guys yeah. are amazing. Yeah. You do a heck of a job, Bob. Thanks a lot for the call this morning. Merry Christmas. FedEx or UPS? I think you said UPS. Oh, it's UPS. Yeah, okay. I think so. All right. Yeah. Both of them. Either way. way. Either way. Yeah. yeah. Either way, it's kind of yeah. a brown both job. <laughs> UPS, FedEx, they're, they're both tough. Yeah, absolutely. How about uh, Colin? Let's jump back in. Colin from Fullerton. Welcome to our show this morning. Hey, good morning, guys. Good morning. Hey, quick story for you. Uh, I was really close with my grandmother, right? She passed away on Christmas Day a couple of years ago, so I spent a lot of time thinking about it. Anyway, she lived up in Reno to bet the horses. She, I would spend my summers up there. She taught me how to trout fish, Truckee, Tahoe, whatnot. Anyway, it was my senior year in high school. I, my friends and I decided to go up to Big Bear do a little trout fishing. It was a great day of trout fishing. We headed home 
or on the 57 freeway, and my friend got bored and said, hey, how about you moon somebody? I said, all right, great idea. Anyway, we are pull up to this. Go- he says, there's a gold car right here with a Nevada plate. Oh, oh, you got it. Oh, man. Pulled up and remember, got the buzzer. Remember, family <laughs> yeah. show here. Yeah. All right, Colin. Merry Christmas Oh, definitely you. a Merry Christmas. Yeah, for sure. And uh, let's do uh, Harry. How about a Harry? Harry in Chula Vista. Welcome to our show this morning, Harry. Hi. Hi, good morning. Thank good morning, you. Harry. Good morning. Uh, I have a little prose for you. What is an environmentalist? Someone who rants and raves to tell others what to do, or someone who depends on the environment to survive, always protecting, monitoring, thinking of better ways to keep the ocean safe and healthy, to provide food, keeping people close, and bringing families together, educating to always have something great to share with the future. That's you, my friend. You are among the best environmentalist. Yeah, yeah that's there you a good go. message. Look at herself. Yeah, that's and true. I think yeah. along with that, you know, just to touch on that a little, Harry, is we're all conservationists. And, yes. And we all conserve and love our environment and love, love the earth as much as the ocean. Yep. And, and being a uh, conservationist is a big part of it, and you're bringing it up, Harry. Yes, indeed. That's good. very, very good. What a good take and something that we all need to be aware of for sure. Yeah, and thanks a lot definitely. for the call this morning. Let's, uh, how about uh, Michael? Michael Cohn from Del Mar. Thanks for joining our show this morning. Good morning, Michael. Merry Christmas to you. Morning, guys. Merry Christmas. Just love what you guys do. I wish I could hear it every week, and I do because I, I go and I listen to it when I work out later in the week when I miss you. I, on, I get to. Uh, on the app, on our archives, right? On the archives. I don't miss the show. All I right. don't miss the Fantastic. show. Fantastic. So, uh, Thank you, guys, you Michael. Just, I learn so much. So, you know, I heard about your, something about, okay, story time. I'm thinking, gosh, what story, what story? And then I remember I got a miracle story from Barrett Lake. I, any of you guys like bass fish? Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I was at Barrett Lake a couple of years ago, and uh, you know how Barrett Lake is. Uh, it's a catch and release. You catch millions. And I was with a friend of mine, Mike Castaneda, out from Fallbrook, and uh, we were out there. And start or 6 o'clock, 5.30, somewhere around there. And by noon, I mean, Barrett Lake, everybody catches 100 a day. I mean, a bad day, you get 20 or 30. There, here it is noon, and everyone around us got 20 or 30 fish. I know how to fish. I fish here many times. We've got zero. And I'm Ooh. looking at my cast today, and I go, we've got zero. I mean, just because it's possible. Noon, that's six hours each. And Barrett, no less, right? Fish? Barrett, no less. Mm-hmm. How many How many seconds are in, in 12 hours, between two of us, six hours, six hours? And so, you know, and I'm, and we're both believers. I said, you know what? I prayed, I prayed for fish. I prayed for our wives and safety this morning, but you didn't say amen. And I said, and it says where two or more gathered together. I said, because you didn't say amen, God didn't hear our prayer. You now got to pray because it didn't work this morning. <laughs> you know, so, so he, he just says, oh, he doesn't pray a lot. He says, no, no, no. He says, that worked. I said, no, no, no. We got to pray, man. Zero. And so he starts to pray. And this is funny. He started a prayer out. I'd never heard of it. Jesus, we love you. I thought, what a wonderful way. Never heard a starting of a prayer. Between Jesus, we love you. Now my pole is under my arm because I'm telling him he's got he's to do that. I, I, I'm not even fishing anymore. The pole's stuck under my arm. You know how you do it. You just, you're resting. For- Time oh. on you, Michael. Time. I think, I think that was the clock. It was, yeah, Catching it was the going. clock. It was in the story. It was a good story, yeah. but the clock got you, Michael. Right? But uh, yeah. thanks a lot for the contribution, and uh, Merry Christmas to you. Yeah, absolutely. All right. We're getting some buzzes now. Huh? Yeah, we are. They're coming Come on. It's a record. I yeah. Think. Okay. 833 uh, yeah. You make the challenge right now. Yeah, Come on. Absolutely. Let's get some good takes here. Over 833-288-0973. Open right now. Over $3,000 worth of stuff to give away. Yeah. From Man- anything from Anza to Pacific Edge to Shimano, Apco, all kinds all of kinds stuff. All kinds of good stuff. John, John in Huntington Beach wants his shot at all that good stuff. Good morning, John. Hey, good morning, guys. Um, hey, John. I just, I've got a, a quick story. It's called I Am Blessed and Grateful. I am blessed and grateful that my dad and my grandpa loved to fish. They took me when I was just a kid with a rod always handed to me when a fish was hooked. And what they did was hook me. And for many years, I fished and caught. Then I was blessed with a son. And I took him fishing with me. And now I have some fantastic news. 
I'm going to be a grandpa soon. Her name is Julia, and although she's not due to arrive until May, I'm already figuring out how I can take her fishing. We plan on going trout fishing at the Fred Hall Show, catching bass beneath and mackerel in the harbor, and one day out on the big boats. God is good. I am blessed and grateful. Merry Christmas, everyone, and take the kids fishing to support CCA. Nice job. Nice job, John. Very well done. All right, John. Good message there. Thanks a lot for the call this morning. Lots of thumbs up from our judges panel on that Absolutely. I think he's going to enjoy his new granddaughter. Yeah, Yeah. no doubt. How about Tim? Tim in Long Beach. Welcome to our Christmas Spectacular, Tim. Hey, good morning, gentlemen, and Merry Christmas to you all. Same back at you. This is a poem I I tweaked that I came up with a few years back. But anyways, it's called Never Too Sick. But... Uh, don't know who turned out the light after coming home late from that Christmas party late or late last night, or even how I got into bed. I was feeling no harm until the sound of the alarm because I was hung over with an ache in my head. Chasing aspirin with Joe, my head cleared, don't you know? Was re-energized and full of ambition. With caffeine-induced haste, there was no time to waste. Nothing could keep me from fishing. It's true, no matter how sick I feel, I'll never be too ill. To cast from a boat or from land, I've got this terminal illness called fishing, and I've made my decision to die with a rod in my hands. Yeah. Hey. Hi. Very good. All right. There you go. And hope that's a long time coming. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Yeah. Tim, Merry Christmas to you. Appreciate that. For sure. Let's see uh, Leslie. Leslie calling from Irvine. Welcome to our show this morning. Good morning. Good morning. I'm just calling in to thank you guys for bringing so much joy into our home uh, all year long and camaraderie, and we really appreciate it. And oh, I have nice. a little jingle that cool. I'm going to sing for the guys, uh, all the skippers, especially uh, the guys on the San Diego, for helping me catch the tune of my life. So oh. here goes. Plug your ears. <laughs> silver lords, silver lords. It's Christmas time in the harbor. Hear them ring, ding a ling. Soon it will be Christmas time. Merry Christmas. All right, yeah. Larry. Nice, nice message there. Appreciate that very much. Thanks a lot for the call this morning. That does free up for the first time in quite a while. 833-288-0973. You want to get through it? It's been a busy morning. Adam's busily writing down the addresses and names and all that stuff there, uh, go ahead and jump on it. 833-288-0973. And there's still one line open. Give yep. that call. We're going to be right back on Let's Talk Hook Up with the Christmas Spectacular on Let's Talk Hook Up app and network. This is Captain Tim Ekstrom from the long-range vessel Royal Star. With my partners Randy Toussaint and Brian Sims, we have set the bar for the long-range fishing experience. A spring 8-day, summer 5-day, or a fly-down, fly-back 11-day winter trip, we deliver the highest quality long-range voyage you will find. From our premium RSW fish storage to our top-of-the-line chefs and crew, Royal Star distinguishes itself from all others. Want to grab a spot on the Royal Star? Check us out at royalstarsportfishing.com or call Tracy at 619-224-4764. Happy Holidays from Fisherman's Landing Tackle. Hi, this is Doug Kern. Nothing could be better for that saltwater angler on your list than a gift from Fisherman's Landing Tackle and Shimano. We have the best Shimano has to offer, including Talica, Trinidad, Tranks, Terramar, Cold Sniper, Torium, Flatfall, and the all-new Speedmaster Lever Drag 2-Speed Reel. We have the most complete selection of Shimano saltwater tackle and the knowledge to help you pick out that perfect gift. Check out saltwatertackle.com or come by and see us at Fisherman's Landing Tackle at Fisherman's Landing in San Diego. Sport fishing, not just for dad anymore. At Dino Wharf Sport Fishing, kids fish free every Sunday. Free half-day fishing trip and clinic free for kids 12 and under every Sunday at Dino Wharf. Join the Dino Wharf Kids Club and get over $100 of really cool stuff like two free fishing trips, a free whale watch trip, and more. Dana Wharf, everyone's favorite since 1971. Click DanaWharf.com or visit them in the Dana Point Harbor, the bass capital of the West, and only minutes from the 5 Freeway in Orange County. DanaWharf.com, where kids fish free. Hi there, I'm Hayden from Fast Lane Sailing and Kayaking, Southern California's go-to spot for Hobie fishing kayaks, right on the water in Mission Bay. Let me tell you, we have big things going on in the shop this time of year. 
This November marks the 40th year anniversary of Fast Lane Sailing and Kayaking. And as a family-owned and operated business, my family and I would like to thank all of our friends and customers for the support over the decades. We also have the brand new 2020 model year Hobie Fishing Kayaks, introducing new features like the automatically retracting kick-up fence, as well as the revolutionary new Mirage Drive 360, which allows you to rotate and steer your Mirage Drive 360 degrees, giving you 100% control over your fishing kayak. Hobie's also released a new line of more economic options, like the new Mirage Passport 10.5 and 12.0, coming in at only $13.99 and $15.99 respectively, while still including the Hobie Mirage Drive with comfortable raised seats and tons of fishing features. Get down to our shop, Fast Lane Sailing and Kayaking, right on the water in Mission Bay, and see it all for yourself. Or check us out online at FastLaneKayaking.com. The warm weather is here and our lakes and rivers are brimming. Just remember, if you love California and you love to boat, please wear your life jacket. And make sure everyone with you puts one on, too. Save the ones you love. A message from California State Parks Division of Boating and Waterways. Hey, welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup and the Christmas Spectacular. Yeah, indeed. What a great Christmas show. Captain Mark Wish from Pacific Edge. Uh, This week's CCA calendar winner, uh, the winning number... 2062, 2062. Check the back of your Bill Barney CCA calendar for 2062, and you won, if that is your number, holiday package from Blue Wave, Blue, Blue Wave Jewelry. Uh, so congratulations to you. And I want to throw out a big thank you and uh, kudos to Bill Varney, who does our weekly, every other week, uh, email blast. Um, Bill does such a great job of that, works real hard for us there, and all the supportive stuff that he does for us and CCA and that calendar. What a great calendar. If you haven't bought your 2020 Bill Varney CCA calendar, get it at local tackle stores. I'm sure you have them. At oh, yeah, we cash. sell a lot of them. Yeah. yeah. And, and his book. I mean, he did such a fantastic oh, job. Oh, the of surf? That, that fish surf, surf fishing book. Yeah. That makes our life so much easier. Oh, yeah, and his website's great, too, yeah. fishthesurf.com. So thanks, Bill, for all you do, and uh, Merry Christmas to you. All right, speaking of Merry Christmas, one line open, 833-288-0973. You have a chance to win one of those seven prizes with a good take here, still wide open. Absolutely, and we jump in. Yeah. How, how about Mitch? Mitch from CMT, thanks for joining us, Mitch. Good morning, Mitch. Merry hey, Christmas. Good morning. good morning, everybody. Merry Christmas, and hope everybody has safe Happy holidays. Indeed. I called in to thank you for the best show on radio. I look forward to it every Saturday and Sunday. I've learned a lot. Caught some nice yellow pin this year. And I remember back when Marty Milner was on your show. Uh, so you guys doing a great job, and I just want to say thank you and keep up the excellent work. Thank you. That's really uh, nice, Mitch. Appreciate that. Yes, Marty. Man, we miss Marty. He's a... Uh, Man, of course, uh, you know, you've been around a long time, of course, Corey, but uh, Mark has been around probably the longest of anybody here on Let's Talk Hookup. That's hard to believe. Yeah, How many the, years? Well, it's, tw- <laughs> tw- it's 28 and a half plus years now, so <sighs> we're going into our 29. How can that be? Our I mean, we're still, How does that happen? We're young, frisky guys. Yeah, what exactly. the hell happened we're still here? Fishing, yeah. <laughs> 20, I, think we're, I think we hold the record for longest radio show in kind of anywhere that's cool. i don't think anybody beats that super cool that you know i never there. thought about that just the life yeah. of the show i yeah. mean holy cow yeah, that's, that's a long a, time it's a long time but thanks for recognizing that mitch and you know gosh I've, I've been so blessed with such great partners like uh marty milner and Corey and and ricky of course you know uh for of course ricky started here when he was 13 years old answering the phones and just then, cool stories and and, really. and, and, the, and and you know it's funny funny story and um Nothing against Marty, but Mar- here's Marty, one of the one of the greatest actors in history, right? In, in front of the camera, a- a- in front of the camera, Adam Twelve, Route sixty six, you know, over forty feature length movies. I mean, my God, he he was with uh, um, you know all these great movie stars in these amazing movies for so many years. And it's funny, whenever I would go on a trip, Marty didn't but like doing the show. That would himself. throw him into a oh, tailspin. Oh, he didn't go in a tailspin. <laughs> he didn't like kind of very nervous because Marty was very precise. Everything had to be right. And uh, so when I was gone, here is 15-year-old Ricky. Here, you go sitting with Marty and co-host the show. Well, that's how it all started is just he started working with Rick, with uh, Marty on the show, and uh, he just was a natural at it. 
So that's how it kind of all came into being. And of course, Marty was with us here on the show for 11 years, and that was uh, just a, and his his family so great. You know, Stuart uh, still in contact with all those people. So yeah, that was that uh, that was fun neat. times, really fun times. But I used to love the stories, of, and you heard. Mark, many, many stories that oh. Marty used to do. I remember. Did yeah. I ever tell you the story about this? And yeah, that? I used and to love to do the show he, and visit he, with him yeah, about all yeah. that stuff. And yeah. he was tough, man. I remember trudging rivers in Alaska with him. And, you know, he, he, he had a few years on me. And, I mean, he used to just go. I mean, he, he, it was hard to stop him. Yeah. For sure. No, what a great we, guy. We, we, yeah, fantastic guy. And very, very thanks for bringing that up, that uh, Marty was just a really – Huge asset and kind of took us to a new level here on Let's Talk Hookup. Really so did. All of a yeah. sudden it was like, Let's Talk Hookup was, oh, that show, that that that, that Marty Milner guy. Was the guy from Adam 12. Yeah, 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 exactly. And the fun thing, too, was we'd sit at the Fred Hall, Long Beach, or Del Mar, and we'd see people staring. And guys would be staring at him. And, and, and it's like, come on up. Come on. You know, Marty's very personable. You know, like, ah, what's going on? You know, you want me to sign an autograph or whatever. But And so many police officers I, you know, I became a cop because of Adam 12 and what you did. And, you know, so many officers were so very grateful. And I remember uh, I did uh, a talk at his, uh, at his service there when he passed away. And there was a bunch of police officers there. And a whole contingent came down to honor Marty. And uh, I said, you know, how many of you police officers became police because of Marty? And, like, the whole group wow. raised their hand. Wow. It was unbelievable. That gave me goose. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. yeah, me too. For Just sure. saying so, that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So quite a guy and very, very blessed to have him a part of Let's Talk Hookup for so many years, for sure. Here's a guy that's been a part of Let's Talk Hookup for a lot of years, Captain Tim Ekstrom from the Royal Star. Good morning, Tim. Hey, guys. Good morning. I just tapped in and heard you guys were talking about our old friend Marty. God, was he great. Yeah. Never, never, never forget his classic line. A little bit of that goes a long way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the truth, isn't it? Uh, every time I think about that, I laugh. Yeah. Hey guys, good morning to you. I'm, I'm shooting in a quick call to remind everybody, let everybody know, we're running that trip on the 27th. Friday the 27th through Monday the 30th. Three-day, right here, local offshore. Fish were caught last week, yellowfin tuna. I'm sure they're still signed of that bluefin. And the best news is what really made me pull the trigger on it. It's a definite go. We only have nine guys in the book. It's going to be the ultimate Royal Star private charter. Wow. But what really made me pull the trigger is the weather's going to be beautiful. It looks like this blow is going to go through Friday afternoon, and then by Friday night it lays right down. It's going to that light offshore on Saturday and Sunday. Absolutely ideal for this offshore fishing here, as everybody knows. So yeah. guys I'm... want to pull in a, a, a last end of the year last minute trip that trip is online ready to go again super light great bargain thousand bucks three days all inclusive Ooh, that's all inclusive permits everything that's everything wow all the food all that royal star treatment limited to 24 anglers and 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 you're right i'm looking at windy right now and it's like flat on saturday and sunday just beautiful no wind at all and uh tim mark wish and i want to know where you where are you getting that uh, that good uh, info that you had on the elephant tuna? It was the, that was in the pipeline from uh, our friends at Fisherman's Landing. Carl, he's the one who, who who put it out. Really? Okay. Oh yeah. So they're still around. That's exactly right. How about that? Yeah. And so on this three day, what are you going to do? Bluefin, yellowfin, rock cod, whatever. I, I think you know all of the above, but but the main objective is going to be offshore here. And we've got a couple colleagues out there. You know, I know Bill on the Intrepid. He's going out on a three-day. And, and, you know, the other guys are leaving. There's a couple guys on five days. So there's going to be some coverage on the water. I mean, that really is the main thing at this time of year, and, you know, in particular. you got to get some boats out. you got to get some eyes on the water, some sonars banging around. So I, I'm, I'm very confident with some guys out there looking that we're going to run across the goods. And then, you know, if the offshore thing falls flat, that will go down the coast. Guys will fish calling in on the last day. He'll go down there Sunday and, and, and fish yellows down there. Or or whatever you know, the yellow shell was right out front too. Who knows? You know, yeah. The, Who knows? The Maybe. whole coast is, is open, and, and again, in that good weather, you get some eyes in the water and some sonars banging around. I, I think the sky's the limit. Go chase some bluefin <laughs> over at Clemente, you know, wide open over there. Maybe. Who that knows? Too, exactly. You can go west instead of south. I mean, it, it's just you just don't know until you get out there and go. And, and and again, it's a great time to make a quick trip over the weekend. The weather's going to be good. You guys know Royal Star. Food's going to be good. Oh, yeah. And uh, 
you know, we're gonna have a we're gonna have a good time, make a good time of it, make a good time of it, no matter what we could end up with in the hatch. Yeah, I, and so um, another thing I want to talk about the Royal Star is our trip that we devised uh, last week that you announced. Uh, that eight-day fly-home trip next December that I'm going to join you on. You're going to be running the trip. And, boy, that trip took off like a rocket ship. It's already over half-filled. I, I was just going to say, you know, it just goes to show you, you know, you find the right you find the right trip. I know, though, you know, we, we had talked about it down there in the dock, you and I, Pete, about, about the, the, the desire from, from some of the guys that had been on the Let's Talk Cook-Up trip before we changed it to the seven-day to, to – to get down there on those lower banks at that time of year, it is the it's the perfect time of year for lower banks. And again, that drop off day in Cabo San Lucas, I mean, you just maximize your fishing time. You literally fish to the last minute, and I mean, you could be down there somewhere in the neighborhood of Jaime Bank and literally have a three hour run, a two hour run in, in, into the port of Cabo San Lucas there. So, you know, the whole idea of that is to fish your way down, maximize that fishing time, and then drop everybody off so you don't have to to dare I say, endure the three-day boat ride home. You know, it's just it's it's the perfect setup for the angler that wants to again maximize that fishing time and jump off the boat and hell, who knows, maybe even spend a couple extra days in Cabo, fly the little woman down, yes sir, <laughs> yeah, before a... Christmas. You know, I mean, if, if anybody needs some convincing or if you need me to, to to dial up your 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 gal, hey, I'll do it for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I'll tell you what, the whole scenario, you know, maybe spend a couple of days at Guadalupe <clears> Island <throat> on the way down and then just work your way down. I mean, what a variety of things. So. Sounds like fun to me. Tim, if somebody wants to jump on that three-day trip next week or grab one of those spots before they're all gone on that eight-day fly-home trip that we're doing with Let's Talk Hookup and the Royal Star, how do we get a hold of you? Take a look online, Royal Star Sport Fishing, or RS at RoyalStarSportFishing.com, or give us a call in the office. We're in there. We're around. If you need some help, again, getting talked into it. I'm, I'm glad to, to chew the fat with anybody when it comes to fishing. I'm, 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 I, I, I have no end of... of of uh, when to, again, talk about it. I love it. And uh, you can call us at 619-224-4764. I'm, I'm there. Tracy's there. Brian's there. We're all uh, ready and raring to go. All right. Thanks, Captain Tim Ekstrom. Merry Christmas to you and the whole Royal Star group there. Appreciate all you do. And we'll talk to you real soon. Thanks a lot for the call this morning. Appreciate that. Thank you, guys. All right, you, indeed. Tom. All right, let's jump back into it. Let's do it. How about Cliff? Cliff from El Cajon, thanks for joining us this morning. Hi, Cliff. Hey, hey, guys. Thanks so much for having the show. Yeah, I have lots of songs and poems, <clears throat> but I don't have a great voice. Anyway, I just want to express my incredible gratitude to Let's Talk Hookup. I was thinking of which song or poem to play, and I started realizing I've got two sons, uh, now 19 and 21, and they still remember, Corey, you giving them some swim baits when they were about six and eight years old at the Fred Hall Show. But yeah. because of Let's Talk Hookup, over the years with my boys, we've done, I'm not trying to brag, but we've done... Tony Reyes trips for you guys. So we check with cast men for information. We've done the Islander trips. Pete, I'd asked you about SUP information, send a paddleboard, yeah. buy mine from uh, Ron Lane. Yeah. We've been on the Liberty. My kids read fish dope every single day. You know, we get our recipes from Yanni now. Um, all our Christmas gifts we buy at Tackle Days. And the last gratitude is just literally for the volume of fish that's out there right now. Yeah. So I want to be really thankful to you guys for all you do at Let's Talk Hookup, and have a great Christmas. Those are awesome. really good words. I like yeah. that, Cliff. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, Thank you Cliff. very much, and thanks for for that contribution. That was a that was a good one. You know, and so there's so much. Wow, what about that fishing, huh? I mean, how how grateful are we for this amazing fishery we have here in Southern yeah, California? I mean, it just went on and on and yeah. on, and so much quality this yeah. year, you know. And then, now we didn't get quite as much as you got, you know. Yeah. We, you know, stuff shot, stopped a little short this year yeah. for us up in the Long Beach area, but, but still reachable for a private oh, yeah. boater, you know. Yeah, I mean, reachable, to, but I mean to to trailer down here yeah. and, and go out. Yeah. It's still friendly. Oh, yeah, the was... last five years, really. You think about it, from Blue Marlin and Wahoo and <laughs> local waters. Yeah. Crazy. <laughs> and all the bluefin. I mean, the bluefin just keep getting bigger, bigger. and bigger and bigger. And bigger and bigger. What's going to happen in 2020? Crazy. I don't know. We're just going to have to wait and see. But Hopefully here, yeah. it, the cycle continues. Yeah. If, yeah. If, Hopefully those 400-pounders swim in. Yeah. And, now, and and to throw a swordfish on top of it all, it's like the icing on the yeah. Top. yeah. Now what about um, the we talked about sea bass, and of course you became the sea bass guru of Catalina and wrote books on it and everything like that. 
Last year was more of a typical year, but still kind of a little not like the old days. What do you definitely think? Definitely was thought? not like the old days. Yeah. Yeah. So what's your thought on sea bass for this year? You know, I it's hard to figure that fish because they're so mobile. And they, uh, you know, it's not like a calico bass living on a rock. You know, maybe he bites, maybe he doesn't, but you know he's sitting there. You know, sea yeah. bass, I mean, they're here one day, completely gone the next. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I, I, I know the... Uh, the biologists are trying to figure out where a lot of those fish are. And it might be that the water patterns, because, you know, we've seen things change with all this yellowfin and all this bluefin around. I mean, something has definitely changed. And maybe that same change is pushing our sea bass a little farther north. You know, in years past, I mean, like 100 years past, they had a, a fantastic commercial fishery for white sea bass out of San Francisco. Really? Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. Lots of them. So maybe that's where some of the the bulk of the population is trending. I know those guys, when they're making bait up there, when they're making squid up there in a commercial fleet, I mean, they they see quite a bit of sea bass up there. And you mentioned that. I mean, a squid have have been caught all the way up in Oregon or... Oh, yeah. Yeah, right? There's no shortage of squid. But which is kind of unusual because it's usually from central California uh, south, right, to even Cedros Island. Yeah. Well, I don't know about sedgers. They well, get squid at Absolutely, Cedars? yes. Oh, boy. Yeah, wow. yeah, yeah. Yeah, they, they do at the south end, and, and there's uh, bites on, on some of the boats, I know. I know when they get sea bass down oh, there. Oh, when we were on our yeah. skiff trips, yeah, oh, there was man, squid. I couldn't imagine oh, backing yeah. onto some of those kelp lines with a tank right. of squid. Yeah. Oh, my God. But here's the thing. Holy that nothing. biomass is all north now. Yeah, so, it, it's definitely. Things are changing. I mean, yeah. the, the one that blows me away the most is... You know, on all the long-range trips I did on Royal Star with Tim and those guys for years, I mean, a lot of times you can't hardly fish because of all the boobies, you know, the, bo- oh, the birds. Oh, yeah. You know, well, now, and that's a full-on tropical bird. Well, now there's nesting. I saw one the other day out yeah. in the water. There's yeah. nesting populations on the Coronado, yep. San Clemente. I don't know about Catalina, but at Santa Barbara Island. Oh, on Santa a, Barbara Island? There's a nesting population of, of, of boobies. boobies. You're kidding me. No. The now, brown, that brown is a boobies. quantum shift of yeah. a population. Yeah. What's a tropical bird doing up here? Yeah. Freezing his butt off. Those are the oh. ones that you see across the ocean. Midway Island, famous uh, documentary about the nesting uh, boobies. On, Pretty on interesting. Yeah. That's yeah, interesting. it's just... So things are changing. But you you talk about sea bass and stuff, and it's amazing how they travel. I mean, they travel long distance, and... Yep. and it always amazes me when I hear a barracuda and sea bass at, on the Cortez, because the Cortez oh, yeah, is that, 90 miles offshore. Yeah, yeah like, that's a, it's kind of a standard thing in terms of that sea bass is. in the wintertime. It yeah, is, but it's like, how do they find it, you know? It's so One of the mysteries. Right? The mystery of the ocean, exactly. right? Lots yeah. of those good ones. All right, let's jump back into Christmas Spectacular here. Let's do it. Let's talk to Dennis. Dennis calling from Norwalk. Thanks for joining us. Hi, Dennis. Merry Christmas to you. Yes, I just like to tell you about my son Danny Odom. Huh? He uh, joined. If it wasn't for Mr. Milner on um, Adam Twelve, mm-hmm. he's been with the LAPD for the last twenty years. And every day the program is on, he says, "Dad, I want to become a a policeman." I said, "Are you kidding me?" Because it's a da- dangerous job, but he kept insisting, and sure enough, that's what he's doing to to this day. Very good. Nice. That's nice. Well, glad that Marty could uh, incentive, and he did like we talked about. He did that for a lot of police officers for sure, and we're thankful for that. Thanks a lot. Merry Christmas to you, Dennis. How about Mike? Mike in San Carlos. Thanks for joining us, Mike. Hey guys, this is Mike, your expert novice. Yes. Uh, yay. Uh, a long time ago, when my son was 11, we went to Campo Castro. It's a fishing camp uh, south of Ensenada. And it was on the 23rd of December. So we're sitting in our little bunkhouse, and somebody knocks on the door and says, Oh, come on over. You know, we have the 12 days of Christmas. Okay. So we went over, and they, they were serving food and Christmas lights and uh, cinnamon drinks. And it was like, my son goes, Dad, they're just like us. I went, you got it. Next day we went fishing, and we just caught everything you could catch. My son he even pulled out a uh, lure, like a spoon. I said, well, that's for bonita. No, that's for barracuda. And the guy that was driving the ponga said, barracuda? Okay. And we went, like, another mile. 
and we caught as many barracuda as you can catch. So, uh, Feliz Navidad, guys. All right. Yeah, yeah, thank thanks you. a lot for that. You know, and that's the thing is we talked about that a little bit, about how prolific our oceans are here. And better than ever. And, you know, one other thing, too, that we, while we were talking about being thankful for different things, you know, a couple different things that were very, of course, we're very thankful for the incredible sport fishing fleet throughout Southern California, not only here in San Diego, but up and down the coast. But the incredible guys that go out there and make the bait, like the Everingham Brothers Bait Company. Yes. What would Boy. we do without those guys, right? Oh, that's a, I mean, our fishery is so incredibly unique. Yes. And so good because of those bait guys. Yes. Grinding it out and finding that yeah. stuff. Corey used to be one of those big guys, yeah, right? I, I did that for 12 years. And I'll tell you, years. those guys work extremely hard. And it's one of those unsung hero kind of things because yep. they, it's done so quietly. The only time that you really know about the bait company is when the bait is kind of crappy or yep. it's unavailable. Yep. That's the only time <laughs> that you really <laughs> can't get bait. Right? Right. And so it's, you know, I'll tell you, my first year on there, I'll tell you a quick story is uh, we left on a mission for bait. We could not find bait, and it was in the first year. We ran up from San Diego Bay. We ran up looking and looking and looking. It was a four-day adventure. I spent Cinco de Mayo, Catalina Island. I was the only one that had cash, and we went on the island to get groceries on a four-day trip. We went from the Huntington Beach rigs out to Catalina over to Clemente, and I mean it was and just no bait anywhere. We no couldn't bait. find bait. I, wow, wow! My first year, I, I and that was out of San Diego. It was. I wow. did not get off the boat for five months straight. Oh, five geez. months. <laughs> yes. Oh, Welcome to the they bait. They were looking for. They were yes. looking for bait. Yes. But that's the dedication that it they, is, that and, the, and the it's uh, the, what, how they've improved, how they catch the bait, load it, and unload yeah. it is totally unique than anywhere in the world. No it's, doubt about it. And and to supply a fleet that is unlike anywhere in the world, a sport fishing fleet, it's, like Mark said, it's something that doesn't happen anywhere else it's, in the world. It's, it's, it's just amazing. And we are so blessed to be able to sit right here in the middle of it and take advantage. Take advantage you know? of it. It's yes. just awesome. So don't forget, if you're going to get a scoop of bait here uh, over the holidays, make sure you take care of those guys that are working the holidays on the bait barge there. Or think about that $50 bill you're spending, how easy it is just to pull yeah. up and, and get your scoop of bait. You can go catch it. I've yeah. done it, okay? Could try to go catch it. It could take you an hour. It could take yeah. you three hours. Yeah. Okay, what's your time worth? Yeah, exactly. Just think about that. All right, let's try and sneak in one more here. Let's do it. Michael, Michael from Laguna Niguel. Welcome to our show. Thanks, Corey. Guys, real quick, simple Christmas wish. Um, Merry Christmas to all and a very fishy New Year again, I hope. Um, the Christmas wish is that when you're out fishing on a party boat, that everyone listen to the crew and the captain because they want you to catch fish more than you do. Merry Christmas, folks. Very yeah. nice. That's Thanks, a good Michael. one for sure. And that's that's a good point. You know, I've heard, oh, I don't think the captain's going to the right spot. No, oh. come on. I mean, I mean, these guys spend their lives, and believe me, like Michael said, they want to catch fish more than you want to catch fish. Or it, they want you to catch They fish. want you yeah. to catch yeah, fish, exactly. yeah, for sure. So always respect the, the captain and, 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 and know that that's their, if they wouldn't be in this business, it wasn't for that. Absolutely. Yeah, for sure. All right. All right. Hey, we're going to be right back. We've got an entire list. We're going to find out who's won these $3,000 worth of prizes when we return on the Christmas Spectacular on the Let's Talk Hookup app, the network. When it comes to fishing rods for saltwater, there's just one name you need to know, CalSTAR. Take, for example, the Graphiter series. It's a true graphite and fiberglass composite rod, the finest that's ever been built. And for anglers seeking traditional performance, durability, and quality at an affordable price, the CalSTAR West Coast series of rods and blanks are the ones for you. Their master craftsmen bring decades of rod building experience to every rod they make. So if you want your fishing rods to be truly state-of-the-art, I always recommend CalSTAR at fine tackle stores everywhere. This is Greg Stotesbury from AFCO. 
myself. For more than 58 years, the American Fishing Tackle Company has been recognized as the premier manufacturer of precision-built offshore fishing tackle. AFCO continues this tradition today with an innovative technical fishing clothing line designed and built by fishermen for fishermen. From our next generation waterproof shorts like Tactical or Stealth to our new anhydrous waterproof jacket and bibs, the entire AFCO clothing line is purpose-built with the latest AFTEC fabrics and features designed to deliver for the demanding angler. To find AFCO products, go to AFCO.com and find a dealer near you. Happy holidays from Fisherman's Landing Tackle. Hi, this is Doug Kern. Be sure to get that saltwater angler on your list what they really want, a gift from Fisherman's Landing Tackle and Penn. We have the best Penn has to offer, including International VISX, Fathom 2 Speed, Torque 2 Speed, Fathom Star Drag, and so much more. Bottom line, we have the most complete selection of Penn saltwater tackle and the knowledge to help you pick out the perfect gift. Check out our huge selection at saltwatertackle.com or come by and see us at Fisherman's Landing Tackle at Fisherman's Landing in San Diego. For over five decades, Lee Palm Sport Fishing has set the standard in long-range fishing that they pioneered long ago. The Red Rooster 3 sets a new standard of excellence. The Red Rooster 3 is one of the most modern, quiet, and fastest long-range vessels in the fleet. They have handpicked the finest crew to make your trip a memorable one. The Red Rooster 3 offers trips from 3 to 18 days and runs year-round to the best fishing spots on the planet. Ride the Red Rooster 3 once and you'll be back again. Call the Red Rooster 3 at 619-224-3800. 57 or see them on the web at redrooster3.com. A top fleet and superb fishing is what Seaforth Sport Fishing in Mission Bay is all about. With free parking and fully stocked tackle shop, it's no wonder Seaforth Sport Fishing is a favorite among anglers. Come aboard top boats like the Aztec, Cortez, Endeavor, Apollo, Outer Limits, El Gato Dos, Pride, Tribute, Pacific Voyager, and the Voyager. Plus, the new Seaforth Sea Watch in San Diego offer the finest half and full day trips available. Seaforth Sport Fishing for charters or regular open party schedule. Check SeaforthLanding.com. Run by fishermen for fishermen in Mission Bay. Welcome! Right. Welcome back to the Holy Let's Talk Mackerel. Mackerel. It's been a busy uh, busy time here in the studio. We got our entire panel of judges uh, together. Woo, and, uh, that was tough that to was, figure yeah, out. Yeah, oh, oh, it was so tough. So let's, <clears throat> let's start from the number seven and work our way up. Okay. Number right. seven. How about, how about this? He gave a great contribution. Cassman, Cassman, yeah. 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 like like Brian said, twenty five years of trying, he had the a very good take, and we kind of went, we got to give it to Cassman, yeah, even though he's definitely. part of the show. Cassman, you win the Anza fillet knife, that eight inch fillet knife, the Fish Pro series. So congratulations, Cassman. Okay, number six. Yes, he deserved it. Number six. How about uh, the Fisherman's Landing package, including the full day trip with Taro on the Liberty and the Fisherman's Landing tackle package? Two hundred fifty dollars goes to Dave and Poway. All right, congratulations, Dave. And then number five, a pair of Maui Jim sunglasses, the World Cup with the Maui HT lens and the and the Mahi Mahi frame. Two hundred fifty dollars goes to Harry in Chula Vista. Harry, congratulations! Yes. And then uh, the Pacific Edge package that includes Mark's three books and the fifty dollars gift card. He might even sign them for you in double. We the, might. Uh, yes. yes. Greg and San Clemente. All right, Greg, congratulations. Shimano Tranks, 400 reel. I have to say, I loved his rap. It was Dane and yeah. Agora Hill. Oh, yeah, Brian like, put him on the top of the list. So I, Obviously, Brian's a rapper. Yeah, he likes the rap. Yes. Yeah, for sure. And then number two package, the, the number two. This is the one I wanted to win. The yeah. Atco Proteus Lightweight Waterproof Bibs and Matching Jacket. Totally cool package. It's at $450. Totally affordable. Super waterproof. Goes to Steve. Steve and Lucadia. All right. And our grand prize winner. Drum roll. The number one. one. Exactly. Yeah. The Shimano Torium 20 HG reel and the matching Therese rod. Five hundred plus dollars goes to Arnie. Arnie and Vista. Arnie Vista. Nice job. And and we want to thank everybody that contributed today. And thanks to our great panel of judges. Uh, thanks Brian and Adam. Adams. Boy, he's a busy guy over there, for sure. <laughs> I want to thank uh, all, all of you that participated in our annual Christmas Spectacular. It was a lot of fun, as usual. And Camp Mark Wish, man, uh, again, another one in the blast. book. This was a blast. Right? Yeah. yeah. So, 
so happy that you were here with us and uh, uh, so happy that it was a, a big success here and, and, and so happy that we had so much great fishing to talk about in 2019. Man, it just goes on and on and on. Yeah, so yeah. What's, what do we have in store for us in 2020? More. Yeah? We just I think this is going to be more. Yeah? We'll just have to see. You know, you never know exactly what gets divvied up here, but it's going to be good regardless. Yeah. And uh, I'm looking forward to catching a little bit of whatever it is. So. Yeah. So what yeah. are you going after? Are you sc- Will that swordfish continue the bite? Well, the commercial guys have told me that typically the stuff is around through mid-January. Okay. And then tag and studies show that, you know, it tends to wander kind of down and out from there but do they all go you know we just don't yeah. know that stuff and and, yeah. and when does it come back in the springtime in the springtime yeah typically yeah. springtime does it f- it follows the food and everything i would imagine food yeah. or water or whatever yeah. you know that's just those are a lot of big questions those are good questions yeah but i'm gonna have to spend more time on the water well, figuring all that out the problem it's kind of still of a mystery deal yeah, the is. only one that's cracked the code is bill from uh pacific coast Sports, <laughs> so yeah, he's, he's putting in a heck of a heck of a lot of time doing a great job yeah I mean, for sure cow. but uh, i'll tell you it's it's kind of exciting and we have another week left in rockfish season here in California, and then we have to move into Mexican waters. Yeah, there. I'm a little bummed. I want to go out there and beat up on some of those little wrecks that I fish with the big lingcods on it, but it doesn't look but, like I'm going to get but out. But it's so cool to jump on the new Seaforth out of uh, Seaforth Landing, yeah. and, and that boat does 12 to 14 yeah. knots. Yeah. You could be down in Mexican waters yeah. in a heartbeat. There you go. Ne- yeah. Next weekend, it's going to be clear. Go on the Royal Star. Call oh, Tim. should do that. Yeah. We're going to be out of Royal town. Royal Star the following week. Yeah. Hey, thanks to everybody. Merry Christmas. <clears throat> thanks to Brian. Thanks to Adam for all they do. And thank you all, our great listeners out there. Corey, thank you very much. And uh, we're going to be back tomorrow morning. Corey and myself, the one and only Rambo. Captain Jim Hughes from the Cortez is going to be here. That's going to be a great show. A lot of knowledge. 7 to 9 a.m. That guy is so great. And we're going to be right back here on the Let's Talk Hookup app and network. We'll see you then.